Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and we are currently looking at the Thais People's Republic, but let us continue regardless with um our game. So we're playing as a Russian SFSR, and uh, yeah, we ended the campaign last time, and I'm purposely not showing you the mess that I made, but I guess here we go anyways. So this is a world. Not too different. A little radically different, but not too different. So... Uh, let's just start off in Africa because there's the fewest changes here. Uh, because Portugal was our ally, I wanted to give Portugal at least a little bit of territory. So I gave them Somalia land. Somalia land as well as Eritrea. But I gave Ethiopia to the UK. I thought that was pretty fair. Uh, I didn't know what to do with Libya. Because it was owned by Spain, uh, owned by Italy. So I just gave it to Spain. Uh, I mean, obviously we have Spanish North Africa. Which is actually the Libya technically. But it's a puppet of Spain. Um, yeah, I didn't know what else to give Spain, just... I wanted to give them kind of Morocco, but they're already owned by France, and I don't think they'd give that up so easily just yet. So I gave Libya to Spain. I divided Italy up into three different areas. So, obviously, I took Northern Italy, which has its capital in Genoa. I gave the United States, because it is probably the only other country that can be regarded as a superpower, even though they're communist. So I gave the United States... Central Italy, as well as the Italian islands, and gave the UK southern, the rest of southern Italy. Oh, wow, they're pretty fascist. But I gave the rest of the UK southern Italy, as well as, of course, they already had Malta and Sicily. Um, moving up, we I decided, ultimately, to have one massive Germany with Austria. This is because, first of all, it helps reduce the lag if there's like four different Germanys. And because I took out most of Germany myself, I figured that, you know what? I should have most of the peace conference. Now, I did notice that Belgium, or at least some of the allies, was able to take parts of the Rhineland and Moselland. So I figured, you know what, I'll be nice. I'll give them a West German puppet, but the communist, because they're a puppet of the United States. Hmm. So we got a communist West Germany, and then we got a thick East Germany here. And Germany, East Germany does have cores on everything else, on all the German lands. Uh, you might be screaming at me, someone will be, about Czechoslovakia, because I didn't give the Sudeten land to the Germans. That's mostly because I think Germany's already strong enough. I don't think they need to be any stronger, and besides, if we need to, we can expel the Germans from, uh, the Czechoslovakian state. So, I didn't want to make Germany just ridiculous OP and not have them take any sort of losses, even though they really didn't lose anything. If anything, they actually gained Sud Tyrol from Italy, because I don't want any more ethnic tensions here. Um... I did keep all of Prussia with Germany, which I know people are screaming at me like, No, you can't do that. That's evil. Don't worry. I gave Mamel to my Baltic ally, which I will annex actually the Baltic SSR relatively soon because I think it's been enough time. It's been like at least seven years since we've had influence or taken them over. So at this point, they, the people of the Baltic SSR should be much more inclined to join our state that includes a stateless class of society so i'm thinking i'm probably going to annex this group eventually pretty soon actually annex this group so i get more factories a little bit more manpower and things like that because th they understand they've been re-educated to understand that we are all equal and ethnic tensions that occur between us mean nothing we are all together moving forward liberating the rest of the world um i didn't want Königsberg, i didn't want kaliningrad or whatever you call it nowadays just because i don't know it didn't seem that interesting to me and I, if I gave it to the Baltic SSR, that means I, have to, I would have to wait even longer to give or annex this part. Because this area has already been pretty well indoctrinated into communism. And I also gave Germany, or let Germany keep most of its lands, pretty much all its lands. Because Trotsky, he hates Poles. He absolutely hates the Poles. As much as he wants to have a class of society and doesn't want any sort of hate amongst the people in the world, he hates Poles. Because the Poles told Trotsky no at the Battle of Warsaw back in the 1920s so Trotsky was nice nice enough to liberate the Poles but it's kind of a rump state I would say I mean they have Krakow now which is nice for the Poles but other than that it's pretty much a rump state and right now we are poised to strike the Republic of Finland which we wanted to do wanted to do before but right now I'm currently waiting for my armies to go all across the world because I had to divide up all my armies to make sure I have a good front with the allies over here in Western Europe, as well as between Italy and France, and Southern Italy and Yugoslavia. I did give Greece 
and Yugoslavia and Albania to the Allies just because Yugoslavia already was in the Allies, but uh, the Allies didn't like that because I sniped off both West Benat, Benat, as well as Vojvodina and gave it to Hungary so that Hungary would be a little, a little bit more strong. And of course, I did took Southern and Normal Bessarabia away from, oh, Romania and Bukovina. Bukovina. Uh, much better. Much, much better. Uh, I guess, technically, I'm not sure how this happened, but Bulgaria already had Thrakia. So, yeah, Georgi Dmitriov. Hello. Awesome. Oh, they have mutinies. That's not good. But, uh, yeah. So, the Allies didn't like that. I sniped off some territory from Yugoslavia. They can go eat a dick. Uh, but, oh yeah, I also, I also split off the Netherlands. I only took Friesland. I was being nice. Kind of nice. So, we have the People's United Provinces, but I gave the UK the rest of the, what was known as, you know, the Netherlands. Who knows what, what'll happen. Maybe they'll combine it with Belgium. Probably not. But anyways, uh, we have Denmark here under Axel Larsen. Uh, yeah, other than that, I did install the Colored Puppets mods, but apparently you have to wait like 30 days before it actually take effect. So, wait, P Republic of the uh, Arabi... What? Republic of the Arabian Assembly? What the heck is this? Did they go... Neutral policy? How do they go communist? The Jewish uprising? Oh. oh, I said Jew. Maybe... I don't know. Can you say Jew on YouTube? Hmm, I don't know about that. Anyways, I did notice in our decisions... Let's get the game started so my divisions can move around so they can get ready to strike anyone that we need to. That we can still execute nuclear strikes on Japanese soil. And if it fails, we'll fail if first and second nuclear strikes on Japanese Japan well, has been executed. And then they'll offer unconditional surrender. So I really need to make a heavy bomber. Also, we got a lot of bad planes here. So, yeah, I've got to get rid of a lot of those. I have put some planes around the, the ocean here just to make sure that we can get rid of the enemies. But yeah, Germany is looking pretty thick. I need a good ally um, for Europe. So, there's that. We do have, within this battle fleet, our newest, greatest, bestest battle fleet. Some pretty good destroyers. And three, level three, 1940s battleships. So I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty strong army. Oh, Singapore's. I was not expecting this immediately. The French commune declared war in France. Singapore has fallen. Um... How? How did you just start a civil war? How? Um... Yeah, what the heck? Are we... I don't want to... I don't kind of... I kind of want to invite them to my faction. But... I, I don't think that we... We're re really ready... I'll also give some Lend-Lease to two of my puppets, too. But, uh... For my tanks, at least? Uh... This is the world map. Wherever I put the tanks, we will strike quickly into the enemy's territory. China will be a massive struggle because I have, like, no armies around here. So that's going to be a problem. If I want to end an enemy quickly, I could probably push out the allies in the Balkans first. Then focus on the Turks and work our way through Asia. while And then eventually send my tanks back to Western Europe. I think that would probably be the best. So we'll send our tanks to Yugoslavia. Do something like that, where you capture Belgrade. That'll be good. And then, yeah. And we are making nuclear bombs. And the French commune joined the Greater Co East Co Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Sphere. What the heck, guys? What in the world? I mean, we're still fighting Japan, but everyone's fighting Japan, so that's not new. Um, I will go to war with Finland in this episode, though, no matter what happens. Give me 400 more heavy fighters. I want to bomb the heck out of Japan. Or at least make sure that we have air superiority over Japan. And I doubt we have any other things. Um, Strategic bombers yet? No? Alright, so be it, so be it. I know I can use tactical bombers for bombing stuff, but I really want strategic bombers. And who can't... Oh! Yeah, stop trading with those Greek jerks. Those Greek boys. Oh, come on, Thailand. Thailand. We're allies. You're supposed to support me. I'm supposed to support you. 
and we need more rubber. So, we're building some more rubber refineries, building a lot of aluminum plants. Let's go ahead and switch on over to more rubber refineries. That'll be great. I hope that the French commune is only... F Never mind, they're fighting all the allies. Okay, um... I can't send you volunteers because I'm still at war with Japan. This is very interesting. I can't really give these guys anything. Uh, well, maybe I can give some lend -lease. I'll give you, like... 250 convoys. How about... 7,000 support equipment. 10,000 trucks. I'll give you... 20,000 guns, and then... 7,500 pieces of artillery. And, you want some fuel? I can give you a, quite a bit of fuel, like... A thousand's good. You should like that, right? Yeah, cool. These are early destroyer hulls, yeah. We're definitely gonna need more... Maritime naval bombers. Fighters we're in a deficit of. Oh my goodness, there's so many bad... Medium bombers here. Yeah, we'll keep that one for now. Heavy fighters, let's get rid of some of the garbage ones. Ooh, es convoy escortings. Nice. Air Doctrine, we're pretty good on. 1946. Uh, we maybe want to start thinking about building a carrier, because those could be pretty useful. Uh, we're good on fuel. I didn't need to take Romania's fuel, just because I'm pretty good on fuel anyways. Oh yeah, I'll definitely get an advanced rubber plant. That'll come in handy. We are researching in submarine. That's pretty cool. Have we had any of these destroyers yet? Oh wait, Maritime Patrol 1s. Medium, mi medium Maritime 1. So many bad... Oh! There's at least one strategic bomber. Not great, but eh, better than nothing, you know. Medium bombers. We're not making any motorized rocket artillery. We, need, we just have to get more rubber. And we have some medium bombers as well. Let's go ahead and make some more medium bombers too. And I want to make some mechanized infantry or mechanized equipment at least and we sunk nothing typical pretty darn typical uh sure yeah dock your ships wherever our uh our guys are still moving around the cabin this is a better fleet yeah first modern fleet that'll be good Still nothing, still nothing. Do we have... We don't have armies down yet in Asia, which kind of sucks. Turkey, movements... We're still moving around quite a bit. Oh, someone die? Oh, Kuzma. Kuzma, Kuzma, good. And then this. Clement, oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, that's... It's pretty good. I've made a lot of theaters at this point. Nope. Hmm, is everyone else good? Coast, I've got a lot of Coast Guards. That's awesome. 29, do this, this. Just in case you might get invaded. Good, 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 good. Definitely here in Europe. If needed. And just in case in the around the Black Sea. Because you never know who, never know who might invade. Especially from Turkey. Definitely do this stuff as well. And pretty much all the Asian coasts over here do that as well. Um, I think our allies... I don't know. I, I don't know if I can trust my allies over here. At the end of this war, I might just give all this Southeast Asian territory to Siam. That might just be easiest. we got an extra army down here. Actually, that's really good. You. Boris. You. Sure. So we got 24 more guys. I'm actually probably going to put you down here. Because if we can capitulate Singapore quickly, that'd be great. And we've got a couple extra divisions. Units ready for deployment. Uh, actually, don't make those. Thick. Make four at a time. Uh, we can probably cut down on these guys. Make only six at a time. That'd be good. We have 112 coastal divisions. Our guys are still moving around the cabin. And I'm waiting to nuke the hell out of Japan. Cool. How are our divisions? Well, they're... Uh, actually, you know what? No, you can't come through my territory anymore. Yeah, we got divisions moving every which direction. 
Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, this army group. Gregory. Sure. Alright, UK. Um, we still have a non aggression pact. I'm gonna cancel. Uh, I'm. So be it. So do that. Why not? Uh, heavy bomber wing is okay. Heavy fighters are doing. Eh. Put a hundred here. Give me those patrol bombers, cause why not? You guys help out in the East China Sea. Nice, that's good. Maritime patrol bombers, you know what to do. But don't do kamikaze strikes since we can't even do those anyway. Anyways, no, sorry, get, get out of my lands. Well, I'm not really sorry. And what are we doing over here? If you can go, go ahead. If you can't, you know, whatever. Awesome. Uh, are we ready for war yet? Just in case the allies want to go to war with us. French commune doesn't look like it's going to be very successful. Uh, let's see. Republic of Albania. That's a really cool picture. Looks kind of faded, outdated. But that's okay. A lot of Japanese ships. Hmm... Let's... Oh, Better heavy bombers. Sounds pretty good to me. Heavy bomber 2. Awesome. Um... You know what? Sure, as long as you don't go to war with me when I go to war with Finland, I'm okay with that. We still got a lot of manpower, so... Not too concerned about that. Socialist education in East Germany. Sounds like a lot of fun. Change... Oh, here's colored puppets. Change... Wait, the mod started... Maybe it hasn't been a month yet? Colored puppets. I would love to change the puppet. Color. Um, steel, aluminum, don't really need that. Armament efforts, still make... I still want to make more military factories. Uh, do that, do that, and do that. So we get some sort of benefit out of it. Alright. Are most of our armies ready to go? You're on the line. You're on the line, you're on the line, on the line. Just in case things go south, we must be prepared immediately to strike forward. Uh, oh, Lower the autonomy of Romanian People's Republic. Sounds good to me. You guys are going to attempt to hold a line that doesn't really exist. You guys are, well... Still moving around the cabin. I think... Uh, you know what? I want to wait. Just wait until I can nuke Japan, and we'll see what happens. If I can nuke Japan twice, then I will go ahead and do it. And if they capitulate, then that'd be very interesting. We're going to need some more fighter wings for Japan. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I could really use another nuclear reactor, too. Hmm, build it over here, because why not? And 60 isn't bad for infrastructure. We'll do that, too. Nice, nah, we got a lot of aluminum being made. Oh, do that. Do that as well. Put you over here. That's good. Can I unleash a nuke? Yes. So, because of the decision, we can execute strikes on... Japanese soil. I mean, I think we technically have to own Okinawa and Iwo Jima away from the Japanese. And then reduce their fleet to 30 ships. Striking two places in the home islands with nuclear bombs in rapid succession will compel the Japanese government to surrender unconditionally. Well, I don't think this is going to work very well for us just because, uh... Yeah, the Allies haven't been doing anything to the Japanese Navy. The Allies actually have less ships than... Huh. The Allies have... The U.S. has less ships than Japan. Oh, but we did sink, finally, finally, a Japanese destroyer. It's only a destroyer, not great, but, you know, better than nothing. And there goes any potential French ally we could have had. What do they have here? I guess we really dug in, huh? Go ahead and stop the attacks. We can bomb out their, uh, peoples. Do we have any medium bombers yet? No? God dang it. Go ahead and put 200 more fighters here. And put yourselves 
Somewhere. Yeah, put you guys over here. Why not? Awesome. Still don't have the nukes yet. Our guys are probably beginning to make some really good divisions. Industrial boom. Oh, so this... Since this is the East German government, they get a brand new focus tree. Awesome. Oh, that's really good. Industrial boom's pretty good. Invite Soviet planification. Plantificators. Liberty ethos. Hopefully they're going to go under collectivist ethos. Internationalism focus. Expand communist military command. That'd be really good. That'd actually be really, really good for us. Come on, produce a nuclear bomb faster. 15 days we'll have it. And the game is starting to get a little bit laggy. Nice, sunk another Japanese destroyer. And not really much else is going on. And the U.S. did take out Peru earlier. I really do want to see the U.S. break away from the Allies because they're communists. It doesn't make sense for them to be communists and in the Allies, at least in my opinion, which I am allowed to give. 90% and nothing happened. Let's take a look at the stockpile. So our heavy tanks aren't doing great, obviously. Medium tanks, we got more than enough. Moderns, 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 modern tanks. Thank you. Deficit of modern tanks is still really good. Holy crap. So instead of, we'll switch one more to modern tanks. Oh, look at that soft attack. That's really nice. Really good. All right, all right, all right. Oh no, we lost a plane. 96. Can I nuke Tokyo eventually? Oh yeah, I can, nice. I have 24 to 25 slots unlocked. You know, we're not the allies. We don't care how many civilians must perish if they work for the opposing government. So we're gonna go big and hard and beefy it right at the beginning of our conflict with Japan. So, um, yeah, 16 million people in here, civilians, and as well as recruitable population, goodbye. And then, actually, let's actually use one of these different map uh, overlays. Let's see, population, so we're going to New Tokyo. Let's see, Osaka has 12, a little less than 13, and Nagasaki is about 10, so we're going to go with Osaka. Yeah, I'm not playing as an American, so we're not nuking Hiroshima and Nagasaki. All right, let's see what happens, friends. We just want to liberate the people by nuking them. Ah, liberation at its best. Kind of surprised that they don't actually reduce the population numbers. Because, well, I mean, that would make sense. But I guess can't really do that. Ah, the atomic bombing of Kyoto. The city of Kyoto, a prominent Japanese industrial center, was struck today by a nuclear bomb. It is speculated that the city was chosen as a target because it has been regarded as an intellectual center. The beauty and historical significance of the Kyoto of the Kyoto, led many to assume it would be spared from the bomb, but it appears the terror of reigning destruction on such a place has rather been seen as a benefit, increasing the psychological impact of the attack. The city's location in the valley somewhat limited the blast, but the old imperial palace and many industrial buildings have been completely destroyed. As well as Tokyo. Oh, that's Osaka. Is this Kansai? Huh. Awesome! We have done the most damage to the Japanese. Followed up by the Thai People's Republic. The Allies aren't even doing anything. Okay, so I... Can someone please occupy Iwo Jima, please? Oh, we failed. Okay, that was a bad idea. Anyways, let's go to war with Finland. The Finns have had to get too good for too long. Um, let me see. Where are you guys based at? Oh, you're based on... Oh. Just in case things go south. You guys should be able to take Ningbo. Italy. You guys should be able to take this as well. Just in case. You guys should be able to take this as well. You guys have the fallback line just in case, which is good. You guys are good to go. Soviet Theater 2 is led by nobody against Turkey. Ivan, you have the rights to do that. And the Middle East area has, well, things to do. Cool. Well, we've ha the Allies have had it too good for too long, and we're sick and tired of them. If they choose to help out the... Oh, alliance with Germany. The Finnish. Wait, they're, they're going with an alliance with Germany. What in the world? Wait, oh, there it is. The Soviet... 
So you're going to become more fascist under that, even though Germany itself is communist, most of Germany, well actually both Germanys are. They give Germany military access and German military aid. Yeah, I'm sorry, but no. You go to war with me, we have a non-aggression pact, UK, as well as France, as well as the Dominion of India. If you go to war with me, you are, they literally have to break the non-aggression pact, which I hopefully will reduce their stability or something. Because that's absolutely terrible if you break your non-aggression pact with me. Or anybody, really. And let's see the mess. So, Japan is called the Republic of Finland as their enemy. And actually, they join the Japanese faction. Interesting. The Republic of Finland is called France as their enemy. So, basically, I'm not going to be at war with the Allies. Well, you did it to yourself, guys. Don't be surprised when nu London gets nuked. Now, you guys, I can't go to war. Wait, 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 wait. They're at war with Finland. Wait, why are you at war with Finland? You're fighting the Japanese, you're in the Allies. Um, the Soviet war on France. I'm not at war with France, but I, I, I am, but I didn't declare war on them. Wait, the UK is at war with... I, I, am I missing something? Oh, it's because they joined the Japanese faction. So actually, these guys are at war with... The Allies are at war with Japan, which Finland decided to join the pact with them. Okay. So be it. Uh, the UK has joined the war. Which means I'm going to move these guys around, actually. Because at this point... Uh, Canada's joined, whatever. No one cares. And are we at war with these guys? Why are we not at war with them? If they can attack me through this territory... You, that's basically a declaration of war, I would assume. At least in Hoi 4. I will go take out Japan sometime, though. Fret not. I will go to war with them eventually. Uh, just call all our allies in. If they haven't already been called in. Yeah, this is a weird war now. Oh, wait. Allies? Do I have allies down here? The allies are over here. The allies are in both locations. This is getting weird. This is getting very weird. Yeah, okay, so this is stupid. Am I at war with them? I have to be at war with them. You can't attack me through here, then. If you attack me through here, that's literally allowing people to attack or be a co-belligerent in a war. That makes absolutely no sense. But I'm not at war with the U.S. Or the communist states. No. Hmm. Interesting. If that's the case, then you know what? Just go back to your fallback line. No point to do anything then. Alright, so be it. So be it. And actually, extend this all the way up to like here. And Australia is joining as an enemy. Oh, and everyone in the Allies is joining finally. Cool. Uh, we're not doing extremely great in Finland, but we're doing okay. Not great, but we're doing okay. Oh, Nikolai. And we are going to continue bombing the heck out of whatever is in the waters here. So, should have saved my nukes for London. Uh, guys, the goal is over here. Uh, I need you to move in quickly if you can. I do have our... Oh, what is this? Someone... Oh, the UK is down here. Uh, take these guys. Go ahead and... Come down to Hong Kong and put the UK out of its misery. Ooh. A couple of Japanese ships. Coasts. Uh, just in case, guard the Portuguese Chinese territory as well. Just in case. Macau. Good. Good, good, good. I don't think we're at war with the Raj just yet. Can I go to war with... Yeah, just go ahead and go to war with these guys. Put them out of their existence. Or put them out of their misery. Existence, misery, same thing for these guys. Nothing happened over there, nothing happened over here. Typical. Alright. Republic of Finland is hopefully going to be slowly dying. 
Yeah, it's only been a few days, so give him some time. We got a little bit more rubber. Uh, I could maybe use a little bit more fuel at this point, because I'm using a lot of fuel for a lot of ships, a couple tanks, stuff like that. And, ooh, another tank. Where is that? Good. And the guys are moving in. Yugoslavia will be a thing of the past until we get control of them. So, yeah. You guys are... You need to be a part of someone else's navy. This is a not a great navy. This is a pretty not great navy. And this is the pretty good navy. Go ahead and combine. I'm somewhat surprised that these guys aren't moving in any faster or any differently. Oh my goodness, not Luxembourg or Belgium. Oh no. Are you at war with me? The, uh, I mean, no, but... Seriously? Seriously, guys? Seriously? I'm still at war with the U.S., though, which is kind of interesting to think that, you know, they're communists, they, don't, they might not want to go to war with us. And there goes India. You know, I told my guys to go ahead when they can, so... I right, come on, guys. You have to finish up Finland. The Finnish aren't that strong. Oh, it's not a Japanese destroyer, though. One hell of a three-way global war. It's kind of weird to think about. Finish off the Yugoslavians, then I can send extra divisions to the French, as well as a Turkish front. Which will be great. Alright, you guys are not pushing hard enough. I mean, this is ridiculous. They don't have air superiority up here, either. Are, are these divisions actually might not be that great. That might be part of it. Yeah, these guys aren't very good. Go ahead and do that. Yeah. Oh, at least we're taking bits and parts of the Netherlands, which is good. Do something like that. I don't know. Something crazy. Oh, we definitely will need some more fuel. Another Japanese destroyer finally sunk. Oh, and as well as another Japanese destroyer. But that's pretty much all the time we have for today. I've ignored this Yugoslavian front. But, regardless, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Uh, I'm sure people are going to comment on how terrible Europe looks or how Europe isn't to their perfection. But, you know, whatever. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we will hopefully capitulate the Finns, capitulate the Yugoslavians, the Albanians, the, Ger the Greeks, and maybe do a little bit more in Italy and Western Europe as a whole. Thank you very much for watching, guys.